So this week has been a bit of an eye opener. Yesterday I had some horrendous stories. Mm. This morning I want us to talk about men ambayo wamekaliwa. And we've had very prominent examples in this country. If you know, you know. Men who do everything, even bring their salary to their wives. Okay? They have to seek her permission to even go and have a drink with his friends. And there is nothing he can do about it. Yes, because evidently from this week, mm -hmm. there's uh, some things that are, that are going on that no one is speaking about. Actually, it's just the level of kukalewa. Alikalea chapati ngapi. Kabisa. Can do nothing about it. Mushara ndiyo hii yote. Hava ndiyo pese imefika. Niletumia huyu, huyu, huyu. I want to know how these marriages work. Because you know what you all do, guys? When you come out here, you tell us the way you're the doomy of your house. Kina wakanai. Kumbe. Uyo kwanza mekaliwa kapisa. Kapisa. Kumbe. The loudest ones out here, how do you mekaliwa? You are one of my pingina kwangia. There's a gentleman who called in yesterday who said, he even contemplated killing his wife, killing his kids, and jinyongai. To me, that was a very, very desperate statement. Does your wife intimidate you? Does your woman intimidate you? Are you bullied into submission by her? And let me, ladies, maybe, maybe I need to freeze another question to you. Do these men marry devils or do they create these devils? Okay. A woman can't just wake up and treat you like a child for nothing. You know, we all marry angels, eh? Then you create devils in no, them. No, you no. awaken the devils the, in the, them. The true colors eventually. So they are all naturally devils. That's what no, you're trying no, to say. No, 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 no. Yeah. There are those who are very good. But kama mutu ni mbaya. How to do mpaka it's too late. Yes. Ladies, do they marry devils or do they create these devils? I know at that point, this point of no return. Watoto ni hawa, investments dio hizi, uze ndio hii na kukodolea macho. Right? Ibu, give me a call. Let's discuss this because there's evidently a lot of stuff going on that no one talks about. 0711-046-105 is my number. Let's talk. Hit me up on my fan page on Facebook or let's hook up on Twitter. At it's Maina Kageni, or Classic 105 Kenya. Hashtag is Maina and Kingangi. Ladies, are you overly harsh on your man? What is the reason that you're like that? Because there must be a reason. By the time a woman is controlling your money, there's something she has seen in you. These aren't devils with the horns and tails. Maybe give me a call and let's be honest. If you're going through something of the sort, I want to hear your story. If you're a lady who's a strong woman in the house, why are you like that? Did he marry a devil or do, do these men create these devils? That's a very good question. 0711-046-105 is my number. Let's talk. Because there's a lot of people suffering in silence. Yesterday I was told by someone, Zile tunapitia maina. Auta elewa. So talk to me. All these men who are kaliwad by their wives. And you know you guys never talk about it. Muna tuangiwa kwa nyumba hamwezi report. You can't even tell your friends because of the shame. Kuna walu report, police. Eh, natuna wajua. Become a laughing stork. Wengine wanaambia wa hit press conference. Watangaze msimamo. Haraka. Can you imagine? Those are very serious people. Aki. Can you imagine wale wakawaida hapa? Nima. Ebu listen to this message from Kelvin Akula. Mm. Men are suffering out here. Some even go to the extent ya kuoshea bibi manguo. Salary wanaleta yote. Inahesabiwa. Then anapatiwa pocket money. Yuwa pia kuna kukaliwa na kurogwa. Hiyo sasa ni kurogwa. <laughs> 
Guy. Okay, ladies, do these men marry devils or do they create them? Morning to you, James Baragwa. I hope you're well. Karibu sana. Esther Wakamoyo saying, man, you're right. Men, uh, men create these devils in their women because of their behavior. Felix Agola, Monsieur President, good morning. Saying, man, most women want to get married to a remote control. Someone they can control at their own will. And if she's better off financially, kukaliwa chapo ni lazima. My question is, how many people go through this? If you're a man, are you brave enough to give me a call and tell me that what you're going through? Because there's obviously a problem. If it has happened right at the top of society, we should have read the signs a long time ago. Victoria Irene saying, I know of a couple where the wife is the one controlling the husband's money. Mbaka alikuwa na his ATM. So the man lies how much he earns and would do M banking. She was dramatic but funny enough. He used to bembeleza her mom, Nyamaza. Are you going through this? Hello? Hello, my name. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Yes. Yeah, I think women, we, we have a problem with peer pressure. With peer pressure? What kind of peer pressure? When I got married, I was married to my mama. Yeah. I was married to my mom and I was married to my Hmm. Oh, me, I do this to my husband and he does this. I tell him this and he does this. Sometimes even he begs for things. I demand for money and he has to give me. I give him conditions he has to follow. Now, yes, as in, you know, with your husband, but when you hear what women are saying about their husbands, yeah. and so, then you go try. So let me ask you, so, so let me ask you, so you went home and tried that advice? We normally follow them. Some women are mature than us. Uh. You know you, you are newly married. Ata ujui what happens in nini marriages, yo unajaribu. And then sasa unaenda unakutana na wamama ambao. Yeah. Ah, wana experience, wameishi na bwana zao 20 years, 30 years. And they tell you this stuff. Unaona, so, 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 hey, so, marriage inafaa kuwa hivi. So let me ask you a question. Mm. Yes. Did you go and try to implement that advice you got from these other women? Yeah, we do. And I what, tried, what, I almost destroyed my marriage. Cause I, like, ni nikaona apana. So I better do whatever I know about marriage. I started reading books. I started talking to to my my mom, my mom and any advice. And trust me, nili achana na mambo ya vikundi za wa mama. Watch and I've been happily married for almost fifteen years now. Yeah. And my marriage is working. Kona wake, me I will just tell women to ate kufuata maagizo ya wanawake wengine. Some me... people they see you happy with your husband and they're jealous. They want to destroy it. So if their marriage is not working, let them not destroy you as also. As long as your man is providing in the house, the only kwa nini ufuate income yake. Okay. Yes, mine. Have a good day. Good day. All right. How influential are your friends, ladies? Precisely. Aya. Go for my committee to discuss That is some husband. great insight. Eh? What's your story? We are talking about men who are Kaliwad. It's, it's incredible that I'm reading here on Twitter. Matwe, like what you're saying, who mwaka ni kuambiana ukweli. Let's all agree that if every married man who are mekaliwa na bibi, but kuna wenye wa mekaliwa zaidi, how true is that? Charles, you're saying, man, women aren't as weak as you assume. They are terrorists. A good wife comes from God. The rest are full of evils. They never submit. They embrace dominance. It's incredible. So how long have you guys been living like this? Chris Kante, a very good morning to you, saying I've never approved those wanawake chamas because they are a recipe for make marriage breakups. If men knew what happens in those chamas, they would collapse and die. Kwanza, if it's leaders, 
kwanza its leaders are legendary divorced ladies kwako kutawaka moto 59 minutes good morning you saying as a man i cannot be bossed around by my wife respect your husband period that's the standard the bible gives to every woman well, evidently, 59, that's obviously not going to work like that. Wow. Martin Karubi saying, ladies, men will treat you the way you let them. There's no such thing as deserving respect. You get what you demand from people. If you demand respect, he will either respect you or won't associate with you. It really is that simple. It's not rocket science. Felix Agolusin maina indus chamas kukalia bwana yako chapati is the mark of womanhood. So, there is obviously a problem that we are not speaking about. So, what's going on? Hello? Hello, Maina. Good morning. Good morning to you. My name is Tanya. Yeah. And actually, that lady who has called, she yeah. has said the right thing. That is, all the women yeah. that they breathe fire in their homes. Yeah. Yeah. Now they start to coach you how you're supposed to also breathe fire. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Ebuni <laughs> kuulize. Eh. Usha, usha wa ipewa hiyo, that kind of advice yes mbaka ni ameniambia you are still young as kwambie kitu mwambia nunue ploti yani you need to take this guy really quick eh? Eh. and then you are like oh i think by the way ni nafaa tambi ni breath fire ni mwara kishe so ibu ni kuulize yes ukaenda kwa ku ukanza ku breath fire ukanza kuambia babu ya buwana yako nini Nilianza, okay, ilianza the conflict started, he eh. wanted, uh, we have another baby. Eh. Then I was like, would you have? Because nilikuwa like in that chamas, they say me wangu ananifanyia hivi. And then me, I was like, unataka mtoto mwingine wa nini? Wana umeonyo wako na vitu ndo wanazaliwa. You know those, yani, ni kama classes enye, unafunzwa. Eh. Auna kitu, auna kitu, nataka mtoto wa nini. So we have one son and this son is the king of the house. Yeah. So ni, nilimfanya slave yangu, he has to warm water for me. Okay. When we get home, I just sit, my son ran to me, he has to go to the kitchen and cook. Ah, he can sit and then I was like, ah, hold, on, really hold on, hold on, hold on. Your husband used to come home, unaka hapo, anaenda kujipikia jikoni. Quickly, I said quickly. And how long, how long were you like this for? We are still together. We have been together for now 11 years. Ba, badu anajipikia? Anapika. Hey, alinunua ploti? <laughs> have a good day. Niema. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. She still follows that advice until today. Those advices. Kamati. What I'm hearing this morning has been insane. Amazing. David Ogeto of Flowers, good morning. We're talking about men who are kaluwad by their women. Uh, David Ogeto is saying 80% of ladies these days are scared to go into marriage because they want men they can control and comfortable to disrespect. Don't take a man's quietness as weakness. Because he's such, such men can be dangerous one day. That's very interesting, eh? <laughs> you know, we need to discuss those charmers, by the way. Zachary Mina, good morning. You're saying, me, I've gone through this once in my lifetime, but I said enough is enough. Better live a single, better live as, as a single father. When we show him Mola, Ananiblaka, Anani blaka, anani blaka, anani blaka, anani bless. So Zach, what happened? And let me ask you guys, weren't you calling in?
Helen Terry. Good morning. Very interesting tweet here saying there's also that group of men who like that sort of treatment. They love being dominated by their wives because it gives them pleasure. Ha, <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yes. That's a minor. Eh. Wanawake wanakwanga na advice wengine vile yule sitangu alisema. Eh. Maina mi pia niliona hivyo vile hao wamesema tu. Hold on, ulipewa advice na nani? Nilipewa advice na beshte yangu mwingine. Eh, akakuambiaje? Akaniambia eh. ati hizi vitu ni rahisi. Ule sasa una yani aliniambia vitu zenye ako nazo kwa nyumba yeye anamwambia ngo bwanake ananunua haraka upesi. Eh mi maina nikafikire na ile ule simba niko nayo kwa nyumba nitaanza aje eh akaniambia wewe nenda umfanyie hivi na hivi na atakufanyia chochote unataka umwambia kama ni hivyo muachane na ukaenda kwa bwana yako nikaenda nika maina mi nika, nilijaribu hiyo kitu ilikuwa usiku eh ukafanyaje nika wakati tunaenda kulala mi nikamwambia nataka hii na hii by force eh maina nilisukumwa nje mpaka mlango ndio amefunga akaniambia ka uko nje usiairudi hapa haya <laughs> <laughs> na hiyo ilikuwa day one <laughs> day one tu na ndio nimesukumwa nje nikagonga mlango maina kufunguliwa eh nikafanya kiburi tena nikasema nataka tu kujaribu tena eh kujaribu ya pili belt ndio ilitoka kwa troza eh Maina nilitoroka mbio nimekaa one week kama kurudi nilipiga magoti sijaifanya ujinga kama hiyo <laughs> Hujawahi rudia ujinga kama huo Sija sijaifanya ujinga kama hiyo Nime, nimekubali na kingani kingani yako hapo Yako hapa <laughs> eh <Yeah>, very good <laughs> Mpaka nikasema kuna masimba hapa wanaume ukiona kama yani mwanaume mwenye anakontrolio sija anakontrolio aje mpaka napewa na mshahara nilijaribu siku moja tena nimesukumwa nje <laughs> De Sita wai tena Ava gude maina Ava gude Oh my god What is this advice? Yeah? Haya Okay have the final word the Discussion though It's been a day of learning Man this morning my god Hey It's incredible. Wana wanaume ambao wamekaliwa. Emmanuel keeps saying keeps saying yes better late than never. Karibu sana, karibu karibu karibu. Martin Karobi. I have noted your request. Thank you very much my brother. Hey. You know you're scaring people who are not married. Hello. Maina. Good morning. Morning Bob here man. Uh, hi Bob. Obo wako kengangi kwanza na Maina horo wako meni. Tuko poa kabisa. I'm happy. Uh-huh. Sasa hii leo hii maongezi ya leo ni kama ile vita ya usoro na Simba Rack. Eh si kwetu kule walilimana. Wali yes. Lakini sasa ile kitu usoro alisahau. Uh-huh. Eh Simba ni Simba. Simba na ni Simba. Na eh, eh, nini usoro kwetu? Yeah. Inamaanisha mbeba yani fanya ehe uh-huh. kita ikaendelea ikaisha haya tuingie topic ya leo yes now mimi eh, shida yai wanawake maina have always told you started from eden yeah ye yeah, nyoka kadanganya mwanamuke yeah ya kuamba enda pale ukikula hili tunda yes utakuwa kama mungu yes mungu hataki uwe Eh, ni, I mean u, u, ujue mengi lakini ukikula hili tunda yeah. you'll be above God yes. and above man. Yes. Ji kama kinganya ananisikiza jua anasoma Biblia. Nakusikiza. Very good. Eh alafu kumbe ilikuwa uongo. Yeah. Mwanamuka akaamini vile unasikia wanasema huyu wa mwisho mwenye aligongwa mpaka nje hivyo ndio wakisi tunafanyaga. Sisi <laughs> mwanamuka akileta ujinga yani inaitwa hapo chinga. Eh. Sisi tunagonga cheke mimi babangu aliniambia maina studio uliongea na uh, uh, nini wena maina muliongea na 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 gani muliongea na yeye kwa classic yes ako na two wives yeah mzee alikuwa anafika nyumbani akiwa kwa barabara 
una anarusha fimbo for nothing ili uh, as camp authority ijulikane simba imeingia yes na akatuambia vijana na akaniambia mimi kijana uh, uh, mwanamke ni mwanamke hata kama ni mama yako huyo yes so sasa i support huyo mwanadada ambaye ameongea yeah. ya kwamba aligongwa mpaka akapiga magoti <laughs> eh maana i'm telling you kioa yeah the first day usijifanye at we ni mungwana at mimi ndio ile maana uh, wa, wa classic uh, I, i respect women siku hiyo geuka wajua this time una wa supporting eh hey. siku ile wewe umeoa uniite mimi bob nikuje pale nikufunze vile unarusha sufuria ukifika kwa mlango <laughs> for nothing so that you stamp authority hey. hallelujah yes hallelujah mkinangi hey, amen amen yes mwanaume uliungwa tuko kwa hii shida kwa sababu ya wanawake mimi na mimi naweza kuhesabia wana wanaume 1 2 3 4 nimesaidia tu walikuwa wanagongwa left right hata mwingine anajaribu kukata mwingine transformer mimi nasaidia sasa namna hiyo si unanielewa bro na kuelewa tafadhali maana ukioa na mimi najua kingangi ni mtu amesimama kwake wewe umeikusikia kingangi amepiwa hapana hata wetangu la ni mloya alipiwa lakini hiyo ilikuwa uongo ilikuwa tu siasa wale ni wanasiasa eh mwanaume sio mtu wa kupigwa na mwanamke babangu akifufuka leo apate ati sasa tunakaliwa hata tulaani aki okay. okay thank you very much bob my god old school advice right there